In the previous episode, we saw King Hansel fighting the Dragon Slayer, and we also saw that that place was actually cursed very badly. That even the soldiers of Cadwan and Adrianian, Adrianian soldiers, they came back to life, became specters, and attacked us. However, we were barely escaped, and now we are here in the Cadwan camp. Let's go. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ashradi Gaming and welcome back to the Witcher 2 Assassin of Kings Enhanced Edition. So, in today's video, we're going to go for the contract. First of all, let's see this one. Defeat Adam Prang Pangret at Arm Wrestling. Let's see. What? Oh, game set. I think the... Alright guys, I, I think this is the one whom we have to meet but he's not... Talking to me, I think the reason is that we have to talk to King Hansel. So we have to go for uh, the main quest right now, then we can go for these. I've been trying to do it for a very long time, but yeah. Okay, now where is Hansel? Nearly everyone hunts you, yet you live in spite of that. Impressive. In no small part thanks to you, Excellency. I've helped you, yes. I trust I shan't regret it. As do I. I wouldn't want to seem ungrateful. Are you Does this guy know me? I was unaware you fellows hired yourselves out for battle. My aim here is different. Really. Perhaps I can be of assistance. Oh! He was the same guy with full test. I saw you with full test before. Ah, yeah, yeah, now I remember. No doubt you'll visit the King of Redania next. I need not go far. Rather, it is en route to Loch Muin. Perhaps he has already arrived. We'll meet there. Loch Muin? An ancient elven city quite a ways away, near the source of the pond Why there? The mages wish to re-establish their council. They sent out in the Yeah, yeah. Kings. Okay. Foltest was a good king. Shame he ended that way. I've already conveyed the Emperor's condolences to Constable Natalis. Since we're talking about Teneria and Foltest. Apparently, the fallen king's advisor, the sorceress Triss Merigold, has disappeared in mysterious circumstances. Rumors abound. Do you know anything about her? Why do you ask, Excellency? I heard the two of you are close. Mages have a natural tendency to disappear into thin air once in a while. Why is anyone concerned? Maybe they wonder if witches locked in dungeons possess the same capacity. You're avoiding the subject, which means it's uncomfortable for you. Have it your way, I shall press. But I'll ask one more question, if I may. Of course, Your Excellency. I mentioned Triss because, I must admit, I am perturbed. Mages are known for their mutual envy and rivalry. I wonder if there's any matter that could unite them. Perhaps you could be a bit clearer, Excellency. Then I shall ask directly. Do you know anything about Merigold's involvement with an organization of sorceresses? Assuming, of course, that you are, theoretically, or have been close. I'm not sure why the acquaintances of a sorceress would interest a Nilfgaardian ambassador. Many things interest me. Art, for example. A very interesting statuette was delivered to me today. A peculiar piece. It looks in. sensuous. It forces one to think. Even a monster slayer might not be indifferent to the beauty entrapped within. Maybe. But I'm afraid I don't have time to admire art. Do you have any other queries? I have some matters to which I must attend. Why are you so interested in this organization of sorceresses? I wonder about some strange coincidences. I'm told several of them were seen in the vicinity when the assassination attempts occurred. What's so suspicious about that? Mages have always thronged around monarchs, the source of power and coin. I'm not accusing anyone. I merely said it makes me wonder. What's the Emperor's envoy doing here? Satisfy my curiosity. The last unfortunate conflict left the Northern Kingdoms in pitiful economic condition. His Imperial Majesty desires stability, 
We wish to offer financial assistance, so by visiting those lands hardest hit by the war. Hensel is coping admirably as far as I can see. The details of my visit here are reserved for the Emperor and the Kedwani Kia. You sure they're that big a secret? I mean, they could be important to me. <laughs> I can reveal one thing. The Emperor was very moved to hear the White Wolf had returned. Okay. He asked me to investigate the matter personally and submit a report. Why do I interest him? He didn't say. His Imperial Majesty keeps his motivations to himself. He might be afraid of me, possibly. Yeah, farewell. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. There, there you are. I, I need your orange. More orange. Yeah, that was a big conversation. Oh. Now, what do you want, Hansel? Come in, Witcher. I wish you to feel at ease as this is an unofficial. Yeah, he got hurt. You help me in the mist, thus I surmise. You do not seek my death. Which leads me to ask what you do seek here, Geralt of Rivia. Peace and quiet, sire. I need to clear my name. Though I tend not to meddle in politics, this time I believe I have no choice. Hmm. You must answer quickly and unequivocally. You must be clear, Witcher. I'm in no mood for excuses hiding behind professional codes and trade secrets. Did you kill Foltest? No. Do you know who did? A Witcher named Letho. Do you know each other? I don't know. I have amnesia. Letho has suggested he knows something about me. It's possible we met before. There's an old kid when he's saying, a bitch will never bite another bitch. A hundred percent accurate where sorceresses are concerned. To the matter at hand, sire. De Tarnasaville claims this Letho is in the area. Is that true? Yes. What does he want here? My head? He's hiding from Yorbit and his Scoyatel. I don't know his plans. And you aim to get him? I do. Last question. Do you know who had Foltest and Demabend assassinated? Who's behind the Kingslayers? I don't know, but I'll find out when I find Letho. My spies have confirmed your words. I suppose I must believe you. Now to the other matter. The mist, the wraiths. All that magic shit holding up my campaign. My mages, as usual, have proved useless. They blather on about higher magic, delayed curses, and other hogwash. But nothing comes of it. This matter must be settled with a sword. A witcher's sword. Will you manage this task? Yeah, I'll manage. Excellent. Lift the curse, and you'll learn the meaning of royal generosity. And even should you fail to catch this Letho, I shall help you clear your name. Consider Deathmold at your disposal. He'll give you all the necessary information. Also, you are free to move about the camp and its environs from now on. Now, leave me alone. The curse was cast three years ago. Any sign it's been active in the interim? Is that important? Sire, we're not talking about a fortune told in a tent on market day nor about some curse cast by a novice mage. This curse comes yeah, that's solar true. eclipse and summoned hordes of specters. We're dealing with a complex spell that operates at several levels. Uncommon knowledge and skill were required to cast it. Lifting it will be even more difficult. If I'm going to deal with it, I need you to cooperate. Ah, the plague. So be it. As we forged our way through the fog, you claimed it was Glevisig's curse. Sabrina Glevisigs. She was a sorceress, my former advisor. I ordered her bound to a wagon wheel and burned alive. No. While dying, she but why? me in my lineage. That was three years ago. What did you condemn Sabrina for, sire? One year after the Peace of Sintra, I fought Demerven for Lormark. General Vandegrift commanded a part of my force. He forded the Pontar and joined battle on this field. It raged until evening when Sabrina Glevesig decided to take matters into her own hands. 
Fireballs rain down onto the battlefield. 3,000 men turn to bloody charred meat scraps. The fire consume Kedwenis and Adernians alike. Knights boiled alive in their armor. Mad beasts howling with pain. War is for the honorable. When the likes of Levisig enter the fray, it turns into hell. What drove Sabrina to attack her own army? Any specific reason? I've heard none, not even speculation. She was my advisor, a member of the Council of Mages. For years I was forced to tolerate her excesses, schemes, court scandals. Was she loyal? Ha! <laughs> Only to herself. Sire, do you remember the curse itself? What exactly did Sabrina say? All she said at the time has been fulfilled to some degree. A star adorned with a bloody braid will cut across the heavens. Square coins from maritime depths will beguile the hearts of fools. Coins? Deathmold found a few such coins among soldiers accused of treason. All right. This is a big curse. The sight of your camp must instill fear in your enemies' hearts. I'm certain the stench does. Normal military conditions, which are boiling cabbage, stale sweat, and the smell of fear. They're constant companions in the expansion of any great empire. Thanks for the history lesson. I take it you'll wait until the last minute to bring the remaining troops across. Nothing sinks defenders' hearts more than steady increases in their enemies' ranks. Though I'll say these vergant sons of bitches are worthy foes and won't flee so easily. It's good having a neighbor who knows how to fight. I'm not sure the people of Edern share that sentiment. Right. Quest completed. Witcher, a word, if you will. Talk to death mode. Hold on a minute. So the prelude to war is completed. Now can I go and talk to that guy? Let's see. If I can, then that means that now I can completely and freely move. Yeah, see? Now I can talk to him. Need some help, Monster Slayer. I want to talk, dog of war. I've heard much about you, Witcher. Greetings. Greetings, Captain. I heard you gained fame during the wars with Nilfgaard. Our fees have doubled since the Battle of Brenna. As it turns out, it was worth risking our necks. I knew one of your kind once, a woman by the name of Rayla, killed by an elf's treacherous arrow. She made a mistake. Oh! Let her emotions take I think. I think I know who is Rayla. Guys, if you don't know, Rayla is the same woman from The Witcher 1. Yeah, from The Witcher 1 in that episode. The Lakeside episode, the entire, I think, Order of the Flaming Rose came. I think her name was Rayla. Yeah, possibly her name was Rayla. Must be fatiguing, fighting all the time. I took a little time off recently. Something along the lines of a honeymoon. But I like and she got killed by Yevin. The... Commander of the Squirtel at that time in Vizima. <laughs> That's good. I mind learning some details about Brenna from someone who played first fiddle there. Constable Natalis commanded the Nordlings. The Nilfgaardians mounted a vicious attack. And if not for us and the Dun Banner, the collected armies of the North probably would have shattered into bits. Luckily, we showed up at the right time. Withstood the assault That's nice. Mount Victoria. The war with the Nilfgaardians. last copper we were paid. Fifty thousand Nilfgaardians shattered their teeth trying to bite at us. Menno Kohorn, their commander in chief, chose death over humiliation. Like in every battle, it was a question of timing, taking advantage of the foe's missteps, and a bit of luck. Were you here three years ago during the last battle for Vergen? Bradley's blue banner was. 
They were decimated by mages. The survivors were messed with us. They weren't eager to talk about it, and we didn't press them. No lack of work for your kind. Mercenary might just be the surest profession these days. Sign of the times. Does Henselt pay his mercenaries well? Call it professional curiosity on my part. It's no secret a lump sum of 20,000 Novi Grad. 20,000? To be divvied up between those who are. Okay, divided up. The more you die, the greater the take per head. Yes. Ah. Let's talk arm wrestling. Bartholomew Bargy sends his regards. Bart Bargy. I remember him. Strong for a peasant. For a peasant. They say you're the strongest arm around here. You wouldn't be talking to me otherwise. How's that? During the Battle of Brenna, I got into a knife fight with an Elfgardian commander. That's to say, he had the knife and I had my bare hands. <laughs> I grabbed him by the wrist, but the blade kept coming towards my throat. He was strong, but lacked stamina. When I felt him weaken, I twisted his arm around and slit his throat. I've worked on my hands, wrists, and arms since then. They all come in handy in profession. Wanna wrestle me? To challenge Adam Pangret for the championship, you've got to beat the best contenders. That's him. Who should I challenge? Martin and Randall are the strongest in my company. Then there's Magnus, the camp blacksmith. I'll try them. Watch out for Magnus. As I see it, he could easily do his work with no tools. Steady on, White Wolf. Alright, so I have to defeat other people before going to him. Finally, defeat the greatest stronger, strong man in the camp. Let's talk, Arm. As you're a witcher and I'm a mercenary, neither of us Yeah, of course. Free. What the heck? Okay, I'll go for 75. Let's go. The heavy stakes here. Done. Lucky that Nilf Guardian at Brenna wasn't as strong as you. Or Adam Pangrat would be a heap of white bones right now. <laughs> Lucky for you, we were only playing for coin. I venture to say there's only one man who stands a chance against you. Numa. Numa. Numa? What kind of name is that? He's a circus artist. The mighty Numa, they call him. Apparently, he grips like a vice. Word has it, he cheats. How? Performance enhancing potions. The undetectable kind. I'll be sure to seek him out someday. You'd know best if he's using his muscles or alchemy. Alright. New quest phase. I think it's completed. Kate Wani can bring it on. Completed. Uh top twelve in present. Let's go for that one. But first let's see the Rodfind contract. Now we have to burn all the corpses around the camp. Now, greetings, Master Witcher. I can go. I cannot go out. That is for sure. So let's see what happens. Can I go out? Oh, I can go out. Can I go out of camp? Yeah. Oh, so these are all part of the camp. Right, so we have to burn down all the corpses around the camp. So, burned corpses. Okay, so we have to go that way in order to go meet these rodfish. The rodfish are necrophages. They died in made up of or even just bones. Burning all the carcass was the only way. Okay. Right, so we need to burn down. Okay, so these are rodfish, right?
Yeah, these are old things. They are strange and they will be oh oh okay <laughs> so when they die they explode right so I have to be careful about that I was Can I throw this? Yeah, come, come, come. There we go. Right, so he will burst. Yeah. So whenever he explodes, that is the time that he. Alright. I didn't know Rod Fins explodes. Necrophage Bludge. Nice. Uh, there's a corpse here. Right, so this corpse is burnt. Right, this corpse is burnt. You can add these corpses, they got they were here for so long. Right, so I've burned three corpses. I have to burn a few more. Attention, the man depicted here of unknown name and provenance is a reward. I think that's Letho. So they learned about Letho? Simply. Frick. Like. Who are you guys? Oh, you are also soldiers. Of a drainy. And what is going on over there? What's this? Can I go in there? What? Take that. Wait. This is the battlefield, right? Oh, so going in that mysterious circle will teleport me somewhere. Bro, that was unexpected. So whenever I go in this mysterious circle, it will take me straight to the battlefield. Freaking hell. <laughs> so this is a cursed place. This is the same cursed place. Okay, we will not go there. Okay. Alright, let's burn down this one. What are those giant stuff? So there are two... Two more somewhere around here. Yeah, burn the pulse. Oh, these are soldiers. Okay. But what is this? Greater rod feed. Greater rod feed. Okay. He's going to burst. Okay. Yeah, rod feed. That means pops. There it is. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about the poison. Okay. Seven corpses are burned. Who's this? We can have this place is in ruins, visionary notes. Okay, and what are the meaning of these things? Okay, let's read this. Uh, it's a two. We nailed Miss Glevisix to a wheel. We pierced, pierced her slender hand and throttled her narrow waist with the rope. The fire was reaged beforehand, Hansel laughed and encouraged us to mock her, so we did. As the flames licked the wood, I looked into her bright eyes, yet I could see no fear in them. Only peace. I trembled for the first time, I trembled once again as the flames themselves star starved. The fire would not accept the victim. 
The nestled harder to feed the flames with more wood, the branches were wet and the smoke stung our eyes, filling us with remorse. Though the flames I could see, Miss Glevis sick, suffocating, it trembled for the third time. I grabbed the spear used to push the wood on the fire. Unmindful of the heat, I scaled the flaming wood and pierced your heart. Thus, I was I transformed in the fire. Okay. Hansel was furious that I had ruined his spectacle. I was beaten to a pulse when I was stripped of my rank. And thus, I thought uh, friends turned from me. I started drinking more than ever and sank into sloth. So I was regularly punished. I spent all my free time in solitude until one day as I sat with a bottle of old spirits, staring at a sizzling candle stirred. I understood that it all happened for a reason. I had a calling the flicker that Miss Glevisick had left within me spread over my heart and burned with the flame of faith. So this house was a mercenaries who executed this week. Medallion's telling me something. Okay, what is the medallion telling you? Who? Oh freaking hell, Andre Gaz, what the heck? Huh. You look at the bunch okay. The bunch Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm going, I'm going. I'm in no mood to fight these guys. More cops, yes. There was a cops right next to him, I didn't even see that. Come, oh, come on, why sometimes he doesn't attack? What? I don't. Oh, uh, so I cannot even block these guys' attack. Alright, let's burn this. Oh. I was using a freaking steel sword and then down. Yes, I am. Right. Okay. They're not there. They These three are here. I can't even see them. I'm blind. Get your reward for proxy mode. Whew. This was such a small contract, but still it took so long. A rebel and troublemaker. He's not the human kind. Shut up. There you are, Proximo. If not the famed Geralt of Rivia. You seem to know me, but I have no idea who you are. And you're worse off for that. For I can make you even more you know famous. Me? You write ballads or something. I've no notion of songs, but the king's vested me with the task of organizing nightly tourneys. A swordmaster like you must be eager to show off his skills. Nightly tournaments are a pastime for real men. Does King Hensel have any interests besides fighting? We value knightly tradition in Kedwin. Only jewels in the arena let a knight stay in good form and hone his skills. I'm here about the Rot Fiend contract. What about it? The fiends have rotted for good. Well done. We lost many patrols to them. Here's your reward. You just have to burn the cops. You could have done that yourself, I said. All right, quest completed. Oh, the Rodfit contract is completed. Now, assassin of kings. Let's talk to that freaking hell. No talking to the prisoner. What do you want? How did you catch him? We didn't. Nothing to boast of, really. We found him, barely alive. He was lying in the ravines among the corpses of other squirrels. Terrible bloodbath it was. Oh, okay. As if a mad medic slashed them with a joint Sorry. circle. Aiming at their arteries, no less. For there was blood everywhere. Nasty splashes, even high up in the rocks. When was this? Before that ghastly fog appeared. Get anything important out of him? Not really. We salted his wounds, broke his fingers, scorched his feet. But he didn't so much as peep his own name. Tried to bite off his own tongue, in fact. Them elves like a bit of suffering, methinks. Maybe he's hoping to be rescued. Not likely. Someone massacred him. The whole unit. That's what the royal mages asked him about. Who it was and where they are now. There's no understanding, elves. If he answered, we'd hang him quickly. It'd have peace. But he prefers to suffer. Can I talk to him? No chance. I don't know ya. Hmm. How might we get to know each other? Trust needs to be earned, mate. You best go. Now. What do you 
They cannot talk to him. No talking to the prisoner. You have to earn his trust? What do you want? How am I going to do that? No. Alright, so we have to continue on our conspiracy theory then. <laughs> Sorry. But we'll do that in the next episode, guys, not today. But no. So alright guys, I think that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you love this video, make sure to like and share it to the friend. Oh sorry. <laughs> so alright guys, that is it for this video. In this episode, we completed the rod fin contract and break it down page by any can. So in the next episode, we are going to continue. Let's see, we will go and meet Death Mode. He has got something to talk to us. So we'll see that in the next episode. So alright guys, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like this video, make sure to like and share this one for subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching guys. Take care everyone and bye bye.